Amid the coronavirus outbreak, pro-China trolls are fueling tensions for Taiwan, spreading misinformation and hounding foreign media. The Australian Strategic Policy Institute, or ASPI, has released a report claiming that a campaign of Chinese Twitter accounts gained steam around mid-March and targeted foreign media. According to ASPI researchers, an analysis of the language used by the trolls revealed that these accounts belonged to people who spoke mainland Chinese. With accounts uh, with the look of uh, the BBC or uh, Wall Street Journal, the pro-China trolls are targeting the Western media over its COVID-19 reportage, as claimed by the ASPI report. This harassment comes just days after China decided to expel three Wall Street journalists after they published and up against uh, the dragon. Now, stoking tensions for Taiwan, the trolls have also been bolstering claims by the WHO's Director General, Dr. Tedros Cabresis, who said that he was subjected to online racism by Taiwan's government. Attempting to keep the story alive and create more tension, about 65 trolls have retweeted apologies to the Director General. Even though government links have been ruled out, trolling is not new to China and goes beyond national issues and the coronavirus outbreak, a claim reiterated by ASPI. In a move to hurt the U.S.-Taiwan relationship, the Chinese Twitter impersonators are also posing as Taiwanese users, supporting a false claim of California seeking independence from the United States. This Twitter activity, which originated from Iran, is now being helped by Chinese trolls. Needless to say, this Twitter machinery demonstrates how China's propaganda has developed over the years, one that the international community must address.